Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I just wanted to do a quick speed paint of me drawing this train that I made not too long ago. I was actually pretty proud of this train and how it came out in the end, and I really hope you enjoyed the process of me making it, and I can talk about the train itself and how I made it in its full length. So um, to start off the project, I like to just kind of start off uh, laying down some simple line work sprites, uh, as you can see here. I'm just quickly uh, drawing out some lines to uh, interact with the base of the train and then later on I can do the color and the shading and then refine the line work uh, once we get to that point. To start off I just made a simple uh, three simple tires. Uh, I don't even know if you'd call them tires, probably wheels would be the more proper term for them uh, as well as two bigger ones to be the back uh, with and then later uh, as you can see, I might be adding in quick succession here uh, a little bit after. Uh, I add the axles onto it, which uh, I would love to animate, but I actually never ended up animating them. I think it would look really cool if I did, though. Um, after that, I just uh, started finishing up the line work on the front of the train. And as you can see here, now I'm working on the chassis of it. I don't even know. Would you call it a chassis? I Maybe it's a chassis. Uh, I could be wrong about that. Uh, and here we are. I'm, I'm just adding these simple axles. I actually did mess this up in the end, and I, I was kind of dumb about it. Uh, I erased the one part of the uh, lineage, the car track that would hold the frontwards axle. Uh, I'm talking train talk, so one, some of you might have no idea what I'm talking about. But hey, trust me, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, here I was actually actually trying to uh, add some pipes. The first time I did it, I tried to make them curved, uh, but that didn't work so well, so I ended up just making them like straight down, straight over. I think that looks a lot better. Uh, and finally, you can see here that I'm putting in the colors. Uh, I think the color choices I did here were, uh, I liked them a lot. Uh, the blue for the base train, as well as the red and gold accents, I think helped a lot. And I even had some variety in with the gray pipes uh, in by the front of the train and this isn't all the color that I, I will add I also add a little bit of extra flair here and there uh, just to spice up the train a little bit uh, Here I was actually trying to make the wheels more train like uh, Because you know train wheels aren't solid there normally have cuts in them slits in them to make them Well, I don't actually know what they're used for but uh, you normally see them when you look at trains uh, And then they have one part that's solid. I don't actually know what they're used for, but I always liked that thing about trains. Uh, I never ended up actually doing that uh, until later in the piece. You can see me until later in it. Uh, and then finally here, I'm starting to add the shading to the wheels. I decided to go with a simpler kind of just rounded shape as well as uh, some anti-aliasing. In the end, I might have done the shading a little bit differently because it kind of looks like a ball rather than a, a wheel because wheels are flat and the way I made the shading kind of makes it seem more rounded than it is. So if I were to go back and change it, I probably would have changed that shading. And uh, as I stated, I'm just using some simple anti-aliasing method methods as well to coincide with the original shading that I'm doing, uh, as well as adding some highlights like you saw the little white uh, highlights for the golden things to make them seem a little more shiny than they actually were to give it that nice kind of gold plated feel that you might expect from them. Uh, and I just kind of finished up all the gold stuff. And I actually had a lot of trouble with the front plow. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with that. I couldn't get it exactly the way I wanted to. Because if you look on it, uh, hopefully I'm putting up something right now. Uh, if you look at the actual front trains, they're, they're obviously slits that, uh, you know, it's meant for pushing stuff out of the way. But I, I couldn't get the slits right without it looking really, really, really garbage. Uh, so I just kind of ended up scrapping that idea and made it just one giant solid thing. Uh, that I ended up uh, saving for the final piece. Uh, and then here, uh, right there, as you just saw, I added some shadows for the separate things that are on top. In the end, I might have taken those out uh, because it didn't super well line up with the original shading that I had going on. But in the end, I think it's perfectly fine and I, uh, I don't think it matters that much. And uh, actually, you can see here that I'm just counting out some lines and it actually was super funny because it ended up perfectly. I counted 12 uh, pixels in between every gold lining there on the front of the barrel, and it ended up actually working perfectly going from the front to the very end, which I thought was super nice because I didn't have to deal with uh, manually switching out the gold things. And we're getting close to the final project of the train. Uh, uh, as you saw there, I kind of saw for a little bit. That was me uh, 
sending it in a Discord server so I could get some feedback on it. And uh, as you uh, said before, right here I'm just adding in the kind of slits, the arrows, uh, the outwards holes that you would normally see in trains, because uh, that was one of the suggestions that I got from one of my friends. They were like, hey, you should do this. And I was like, yes, I probably should, because it looks a lot better that way. And then finally, I added a little thing to the front because the original version didn't look too well. But I think it looks a little better now, uh, even if just a bit. And then finally here, I am adding just a simple track for the train to go under. I think it, the piece needed something else, just one, one other thing, to kind of bring it that, you know, final, bring it in to its, you know, kind of choo-choo way it's in. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, ride it into the station, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I am extremely sorry for my lack of humor. Anyway, uh, finally, I'm just adding in the outline and then a background that I think suits the piece as well. And finally, going around with it with some simple anti-aliasing around all the corners to give it that nice smooth, but also kind of uh, nice effect that you normally would see with anti-aliasing. And that's, I think, that is the final piece. Uh, yes, that is the final piece, as you can see here. I think it looks, I think it turned out uh, pretty well, actually. Uh, if I, like I said, if I would go back and change some things, it would mainly be in the shading. Uh, I think the shading could use a bit of work, especially in the tires, uh, the bigger ones to be effect, and maybe even the rails as well. The shading on the rails is a little more uh, roundish. Rails are normally more square-like and rectangle-like and angular and geometrical, but I kind of made them more roundish. So I don't know if I would go back and do that differently. I probably would go back and do that differently. Finally, I did want to make an animation. I didn't actually end up making an animation because um, I was dumb and didn't make multiple layers for everything. If I did end up doing that, I probably would have made an animation. Uh, but I was going to, but I never actually did end up, sadly. But anyway, that was just a quick little video on this train that I made not too long ago. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you all have a great day. Anyway, I'm going to have to go do some stuff, so see you, everyone.